Welcome to the email alerts guide for your Foscam IP camera. If you can open up your camera in Internet Explorer. Also, I have uh, the email address that I'm going to be using. I'm already logged in. Okay, first what we're going to do is once we're logged in, we're going to go to For Administrator. Well, once you're at For Administrator, if you can click on Mail Service Settings, please. And we're going to fill out this whole page. I'm going to start with Sender. Uh, the sender is going to be the email address that you're using. So the one that you'll be logged into uh, that it's going to send the snapshots to. Uh, you're going to get the alerts on your phone. Uh, this is the email address you're going to use. Now for this example we're going to be using a, a Gmail account and you may have an AOL, a Yahoo, or some other type of email account. For the receiver, I'm going to put the same the same as the sender. So you can see here, it's the same. Now receiver 2, receiver 3, and receiver 4. Uh, this is for if you want other people in your family to receive the alerts or other coworkers or uh, multiple email addresses that you have. Uh, you can send it to, to multiple email addresses. Now the SMTP server, uh, the port, and this transport layer security. Uh, these three uh, really depend on what type of email account do you have. Do you have a Gmail account, an AOL account, a Yahoo account? And uh, depending on which account you have, uh, these will be different. Um, for Gmail, your SMTP server will be smtp.gmail.com. Now, uh, we will be putting up uh, the correct SMTP server, the port, and the security layer for all the other email addresses that you may have on our website at foscam.us under the support section. But for right now, uh, we're just going to use the Gmail for the example on this video. So the port number, uh, this is for Gmail, it's going to be 587. Again, it will be different uh, if you have a different uh, email address. And the transport layer, again, will be different uh, if you have uh, another email address. But for Gmail, which is quite popular, is star TTLS. Okay, now authentication, this is going to be for all email addresses. This is your username and password for the email address that you will be using. So just like you log in, uh, you're going to put the same thing, just as if you're logging into your email. Okay, now this last one here, you're not you're not going to click test. Uh, once it's all submitted and done, then you can test. But uh, report internet IP by mail. Uh, this is this is a good this is a good feature. Um, this is uh, mainly for if you have a dynamic IP address, so your IP address changes, your external IP address changes, and you will be emailed. Uh, with uh, the new correct uh, IP address so you know uh, what to type into your browser or your iPhone or your Android device. Okay, I'm going to submit. Now all this information is done. Now, um, if we do go to the camera, um, now it's not going to do anything right now. Okay, there was some motion there, nothing happened. This uh, green button here will turn red once it's uh, going to take some pictures. We still have to do one more thing. Now we've, we've set the mail service settings, now we have to go to the alarm service settings. Okay, so under the alarm service settings, it's found right here, and there's motion detect armed. We need to check mark this and it'll give us some more options. Okay, now there's motion detect sensibility which is the motion detection sensitivity 
It's 1 through 10, 10 being the highest, the most sensitive, 1 being the lowest, the least sensitive. And motion compensation, uh, that's just to support any of the uh, motion detection. And it's, it's a very good feature. Now, this is quite important, send mail on alarm. Without this, uh, you will not get the email alerts. So we're going to check this. Uh, we're going to click Submit now. Now, um, even if you have sensitivity 1 or sensitivity 10, uh, it's not going to capture anything if you start moving the camera around. So if you start moving the camera around, even on 1 sensitivity or 10 sensitivity, um, it will not start sending the pictures. So I'm going to move my hand now in front of the camera so it can start taking some uh, snapshots. There we go. Okay, now that is the alarm. To turn that off, go to 4 visitor mode and click alarm sound off. Okay, excellent. Now, because it's still flashing, that means it's uh, still taking a couple of pictures. Now, we can check on the email. Here we go. Oh, this was the update for the external IP address. For the actual snapshots, it's probably going to take another 30 to 40 seconds. Probably when it stopped flashing here. Now it flashes, this is uh, the same thing when you're doing uh, motion detection. It takes about, actually about 55 seconds. Here we go. There's my hand. And so it did take about a good minute. So once it does capture, once it does capture, it will take about a good minute before it gets sent to your email. Now, um, with Blue Iris, you can uh, cut off that time to about five seconds or six seconds. Uh, but that concludes the email motion detection alerts uh, for your FOSCAM IP camera. And if you don't have Gmail, we will be putting up the correct uh, SMTP port and security layer for all the other email addresses. Thank you very much.